What's up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to share some of my personal tips and tricks that I use when I start every file in Dying Light. We're going to not only get our hands on a pistol, but we're also going to get our grubby little mitts on two developer weapons as well immediately after the start of the game. Let's get right into the tips. For the first one, you want to set a waypoint on the far southeastern corner of the map. This is the area that is surrounded by water. One of the houses will have a large sign that says, take what you want. Now unfortunately, this is merely for decoration as there's nothing to pick up. But head inside the shack to find a man that has taken his own life. At his feet, you'll see the pistol that he used. Pick it up and put it to good use. Oh yeah, and don't forget to nab the zombie statue on the bookcase. You can either keep this weapon for yourself or give it to Dawood at the tower to start his side quest. Next up, we have one of my personal favorites, the EXP Caliber. You'll want to head to this area here on the map. It's actually the next stop I make immediately after picking up the pistol due to its close proximity. Once you swim over to the makeshift island, you'll see a corpse that has been impaled with a sword. You'll have to hold the pick up button on your console of choice for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once you remove the sword from the man in the stone, the body will burn. So don't stand around like an idiot checking out the weapon's stats. <clears throat> Yeah. Once Mr. Crispy has left, pick up the blueprint so that you too can forge the King's Sword once the original has seen its fair share of battle. Lastly, we have the Cork Machete. From the tower, head directly northwest to the C-shaped complex. Once you arrive, jump the fence and head to the right where the air conditioning unit is. Follow the tricky platforming on screen and make your way to the top of the building. Once you arrive, search for some crates marked with a pink bunny. Jump over and you'll see a toolbox. Kick the toolbox about 70 to 80 times and voila, you have the Quark Machete Developer Blueprint. Now go off and kill zombies until your sadistic little hearts are content. Now the Quark Machete is one of the most powerful weapons you can get early on in the beginning of the game. And not only that, but it's incredibly easy to craft. All you need is a bit of metal and a few swigs of alcohol. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I had a blast making it. I have tons more easter eggs and build guides for Dying Light if you're interested. So let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see something like an extraterrestrial encounter, a chicken on a stick, Super Mario references, and much much more. And guys, thank you so much for helping me break 7,000 subscribers. You all are amazing. I could not do it without your support, and you guys are what helped me make this channel a reality. I can't wait to continue producing great content for you all, and I can only assure you, you all will be quite pleased. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.